All right. Are we going to focus? I think we're going to focus. You ready to do this? Welcome everyone to the 2022 Summer Fabric Haul! Yay! Don't mind the pink diaper shirt with the uh, black diaper. <laughs> All right, welcome to my channel. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. We are doing the summer 2022 fabric haul. You see this bag of goodies. We are doing some really neat fabric, or yes, really neat fabrics, really neat projects, really different fabrics from what I'm used to using. Super excited, always super excited about this stuff. And just, it's like, we went all heirloom for Easter, had all the fun doing the classic heirloom stuff, and now we're shifting gears as we get into summer and the cool things and just, I'm always so excited about this. These goodies are from Farmhouse, Farmhouse Fabrics. They are fabulous. They have everything under the sun, all the way from the, the you know, the lovely heirlooms, all the classics, all the just, all of that life, all the way down to like, you wanna do your summer jumper for your garden, or you know, if you wanna do a couture uh, jacket, they have everything in between. Would you like to go play? <coughs> Anywho, I think she's gonna go play and I'm going to organize this. She actually did her first steps a few days ago. Well, it was Easter, so it's been like a week now. Easter's all done. I've cleaned up my sewing space. I am ready for summer goodies. Don't mind everything. I was out in, the, in my garden this morning, and then I started um, painting the windows on our RV, because we have an RV in the works. It's a whole other thing. We do have another channel, my husband and I, together for all like the hodgepodgey projects that we do, and we've return back to that channel now that Everly is no longer napping on me and she's only nursing like maybe three times maybe four times in a day so things have let up quite a bit you can see I'm in I pulled out an old an oldie from my closet back and back from the days when I used to wear um, dresses all the time and I'm just returning to myself I just feel like I'm on the other side of motherhood emerging it, it just, you know what I mean? Like, doesn't make sense. Yeah, the older three are all in some flavor of school. Audrey's in kindergarten. The other two are in a preschool program. And Everly is making her way up to being a year. So things are just lightening up quite a bit on me when it comes to mothering. And I'm able to come up for a breath of fresh air and do some other stuff. And it feels very good. I can describe it as bittersweet. There are moments I absolutely just cry all the bitter tears that she's my last baby and everything, but then there's moments where I'm like, I can just breathe and it's bittersweet. All right, let me organize these into the projects. Alrighty, I think I got it mostly there, and I checked my notes real fast, and I think... Oh. Alrighty, I think we are mostly there. So, um, we have got some exciting stuff coming up. First, let's talk about this number right here, because this number in about a month or so, maybe two months, three months, I don't know, don't quote me, I am over being under the gun. I am going to enjoy the heck out of this. This is one of those things I'm gonna spend a ton of time with. Do y'all remember that um, heavily shadow worked embroidered dress that I made for Audrey? I have been dreaming of making one for Daisy. I made it for Audrey when she was about Daisy's age, you know, the two and a half. We've got a vacuum. We've got life going on. We've got life. What was that life going on, okay? So I made one for Audrey when she was two and a half. Absolutely loved it. It like it was just a labor of love. One of my favorite creations, and I want to do one for Daisy. And I want to tailor it to her personality. She's spunky and full of life, and she just she just knows how to do it. You know what I mean? So I am. I've got some stuff in my mind. I am going to be playing with this. This is going to be 
so fun. And another thing that's going to be fun, speaking of Sweet Daisy, her movie, her favorite movie has switched from the Frozen to the Enchanto? Enchante? En I don't know how to say it. Enchanto? I'm sure I'm butchering that and I really apologize. It's a Spanish movie new to Disney and it's just, it's fun, it's got all the fun songs, it's, it's just, it captures her. She watches it and she is, and I saw it the other day and I saw all the shimmer and the gold and I saw, you know, the, the main little girl, her, her dress and I was like, yes please, let's do this. So, this is going to be the collar and the sleeves of that dress. You can see it kind of, um, you know, it looks like the little girl's. Well, obviously, I'm trying to recreate that, recreate that dress. So yes, it should look like little girls. Um, and this saved me a ton of time on handwork because I wasn't sure how I was going to do that number. I didn't really want to spend a ton of time on this dress, so this saved my butt. Let's just be frank. This is just a great find. And then for the uh, blouse of the, the bodice, not blouse. For the bodice of the dress, I'm using this white and broadcloth. No, it's a Pima cotton. White Pima cotton. And then for the skirt, you can see these layers, right? Because she has these fun layers that goes from, um, well, they've got number, they've got, I, I actually, they have a comment. So Farmer's Fabrics has a comment box. It is a gem. Um, because you can put comments in there since you are ordering online, they understand you can't see. Um, see the things in person that you want to see. So they help out, help bridge that gap. So here we've got, uh, this is number 531, and I think, if I remember right, i got to refer to the pictures, but I think her skirt goes from light to dark. So this is 531, sorry, my memory card just became full, and this just went out of focus. Are we back in business? Alright. Anywho, so yeah, broadcloth, I prefer lighter weight fabrics for hand embroidery, but I thought that for this project, broadcloth was just going to be... It, all the volume and just the solid solidness of it and the structure so I went with a broadcloth and I've got these colors for the skirt it's like a peasant gathered situation so that is the like bulk of the dress and then with embellishments I've got this beaded trim I thought that would be fun it's an elastic uh, beaded trim an elastic beaded trim I am really just <laughs> oh goodness guys, I don't know why you guys hang around my hot mess of a self. But anywho, so this is going to be fun to embellish it on and then this is going to be the trim for... There was one part of the dress I remember thinking this could go on. And then this is the ribbon for around the bottom of her dress. She's got like that green that kind of pops against all the blues and so that's going to be the ribbon down there. And I thought that would be just the sweetest little button for the back. She's got like a placket in the back of the dress and I thought that would be just the sweetest little button to do that number. Then I got this green leaf. I honestly, <laughs> I thought I was getting a bag of leaves. I got one leaf. It's completely my fault. They had the description correct. But how cool is this leaf? I wanted to get more of these because the leaf is perfect for this dress. It's got um, gold in the etching of, in the detail of the leaf and so I'm like, that just goes with the whole gold thing, I'm going to have to just get gobs and gobs of that leaf. It's perfect. So, moving right along, this is a very exciting project. Actually, let's go through these things first, and then we'll get to that really, really exciting project. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, these three, Audrey, sweet Audrey, has been sleeping in the dresses that I've made her. The girl loves to wear a dress. I have no idea where she's gotten it from. So, because of that, <laughs> I was like, let's make her some summer dresses, or not summer dresses, summer uh, nightgowns, because, you know, sleeping in like a dress dress is not as comfortable. So, we have, this is the Swiss muslin. It's also referred to as angel fabric. I have used it for a number of things. I've used it for I've used it for a number of baby gowns. I've used it for a number of dresses. I absolutely adore this fabric. I have used it in the white and the pink and the it's just 
lovely. Don't let the word muslin throw you off. It is a high quality. It's got all like the, the like loosey goosey, drapey, flowy, all the loveliness to it. Um, so that's gonna be like a gathered number and it's going to have this ribbon. You can see how lovely that matches this ribbon go along with it. And I think I'm gonna like use the ribbon to draw it up on the, on the neck and just kind of have it just be like this flowy, you know, gathered lovely summer situation. Then we've got this linen, and yes, I'm going to pre-wash the linen. I got lots of questions about pre-washing. For sure, I'm gonna pre-wash this linen. It's going to be have a big old ruffle at the bottom. I have been Pinteresting for inspiration on this number, and I'm very excited about trying this one out. And to finish up the edges on this, I got this little um, Pico biased tape. It's super easy to use. I've used this so many other times. You can see on one edge is like just a hair, like a sixteenth of an inch shorter, like uh, more narrow than the other side. So what I like to do is I like to sew with the shorter side facing up and that way you know that if your stitches are going through the shorter side, then they're also going through the longer side, right? And so you make sure to catch all the edges without being able to see it. So this is gonna finish up the edges on that nightgown and I think it's gonna be so sweet. I mean, look at how this sweet this pink is. You know, and then you get this little white trim with the little pink um, pico edging and I just think that's gonna be just a little darling number. Perfect for an almost six year old, which we're gonna get into. And she picked this fabric out. I think it is so fun. I'm going to pull a pattern that I will translate well to a, um, uh, what am I making? Uh, nightgowns. <laughs> translate well to a nightgown. Be super flowy and long, and she's all into the flowy long dresses. Bless her heart. She comes by it honestly. So, last but certainly not least is this fun number. Audrey has requested for her birthday, and I am all for the request, okay? Oh, so this pink ribbon, sorry, squirrel. This pink ribbon was supposed to be over here on the Enchanto dress. I'm gonna play around with it and see what I can do with it with the embroidery. So, that's supposed to be over there. Anywho. She has requested to be Rapunzel for her birthday. So I am all about it. I want to do the best job I can um, with still balancing life. So what I have done is I went to the Pinterest to see first what a Rapunzel dress looks like, okay? And I'm trying to remember what I found. I wanna say I'm going to use this for the like bodice corset thing. I wanna say that's right. Um, so I'm gonna try to get a little corset situation for her. And then for the uh, skirt, this is gonna be the middle panel of the skirt and it's gonna save me so much. Again, I don't wanna put a ton of time into the hand embroidery, but I am going to do some hand embroidery on this. But one, I think it's beautiful. I mean, look at the gold, it's a brocade. It's very much a fabric that I hardly reach for. They're gorgeous. It's just not something that I normally reach for, right? I like the summer dresses, heirloom, flowy, flowy number. Um, but this is great. I think it's gonna be perfect for the dress. The weight of it is excellent for that sort of kind of structured, down, smooth skirt. Oh my God. It's a good thing I'll have to describe stuff for a living. So, that's going to be the center panel, and then this is going to go and complete the skirt, or, you know, around the skirt. This, how fun is this uh, trim, right? She's going to love it. She's turning six. This is perfect for a birthday turning six thing. It's so sweet. And that's going to go around the arm, um, the armband like that. Rawr. <laughs> oh my mess. I got this for the dress and I forgot what I have in mind for it. Maybe it's the sleeves. I can't remember. I do vague memory that the sleeves have like a gold um, stripe to them so that's gonna be this number and I want to say there's a bunch of gold other places as well. Oh, that's what this is for, is I want to make gold piping. So I already have the um, cording 
farmhouse has cording. They have like a mini size. It's wonderful for babies. And then they have like a not mini size, a regular size. The kind that you would want for like a kid or yourself. Um, and so I'm gonna make my own piping that's gonna go all around the dress. This is some silk du bagnone. I know that's mispronounced. It's fine. The world will continue to turn. <laughs> um, that's gonna make this cording and that's gonna go all around the dress. And then tie up the, so these things, okay. These things I'm gonna do my best, they're cotton. So I have a, a good chance. That's the X6. Succeeding at succeeding with this because they're cotton. I'm going to do my best to dye them like a purple I want to say is what the dress calls for. I'm gonna dye them a color. I know they shouldn't be white I can't remember exactly what the dress has if it should be gold or purple But I'm gonna dye it whatever color the dress has and that's going to I think this is trim for like the neckline um, And there's more trim on the dress. I just I should have reviewed it before sitting down and doing this this is going to be for the corset. This is going to be cording for the whole corset situation. I know it, she's turning six, y'all. And then I got a bunch of these covered buttons because I'm going to do the whole covered button in a row down the back. So excited for this. She is going to love this dress. Last but certainly not least, a uh, number that I am making for the summer forgot to order it because poor thing she's our fourth child and I just slipped my mind she's turning one though our fourth baby is turning one last baby and I am all the bittersweet about it I'm excited to make her first garment it's our my last time making a first year old you know garment for one of our babies and she's gonna have the whole bubble um, not bubble balloon number I've done the balloon thing for the other three and I'm gonna continue it for her and I'm thinking purple so we are just have to see how that turns out if you miss the Easter all the Easter goodies go over there check out my Easter videos I've got four of them that go through how I made all of the new Easter makes this past year thank you guys for sitting down and spending this time with me I really appreciate it if you have any questions of course put them down in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them and as always I appreciate y'all for watching and I hope to catch y'all next time